questions like uh, like when you wake up in the morning do you have an erection? Uh, normally just have cornflakes. <laughs> no, before your cornflakes you normally get an erection. <laughs> You're just cornflakes. <laughs> you mad bastard. And he had to give me a pamphlet to read on premature ejaculation. Uh, but I got too excited to skip to the end. <laughs> Come on. I was actually uh, going to bring a really small model boat with me tonight, uh, but I bottled it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nice. <laughs> uh, I've been a bit stressed lately, so I went to the gym. I tell you, if I had a pound for every time I went to the gym, I'd, uh, I'd be able to use the lockers. <laughs> but now I like to think of my cock as like a Big Mac. Uh, looks better in photos. <laughs> People always pick the green bits off. <laughs> also, I've been listening to that Daft Punk song up all night to get lucky. Uh, it reminds me of the time my dog went missing. <laughs> no, no, I am actually very sensitive and do always cry after sex. Uh, I think it's mainly due to the fact I don't like the thought of handing over money. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can honestly say that I've never paid for sex in my life. Uh, which is why I get to be in a whole lot. <laughs> so, I recently got caught in bed in the middle of the day with a big animal. Uh, but I just fancied a lion. <laughs> <Double meaning. laughs> Anyway, uh, I should uh, tell you a bit about myself. My name is Martin and a uh, grown-up mother always used to look at me with her beautiful blue eyes and she'd say to me in her soft, loving voice, Oh, you're going to grow up to be just like your dad? Uh, and I did. End up fucking off and leaving her. <laughs> <laughs> what a like, eh? <laughs> 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 but before they got divorced, my mum had changed, you know, my dad was wondering what had gotten into her. Uh, it turned out it was his mate Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's disgusting. I did actually one time find a dildo in mother's room. I was really disturbed. I wish you'd stop taking my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, father used to be a gynecologist, but uh, work eventually dried up, eh? Nine <laughs> 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 vaginas. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, give me a cheer if anyone here has ever been dumped before. Yay! Yay. Uh, give me a cheer if anyone then ever went to a house and hid in their cupboard. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Just me? <laughs> See, I watched Hank win her back, so I thought it'd be really romantic to bring her a house and really nice to jump out and surprise her. <laughs> uh, but she wasn't there. Eventually I hear her come in with a guy. They start having sex. Didn't know what to do, so I just waited and waited. Eventually I, uh, I jumped out at the moment of climax. <laughs> uh, mainly because I didn't make a mess on all her clothes. <laughs> I do miss her though. Remember she used to sing that Rihanna song to me. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Uh, so I systematically cut her off from all her friends and family. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, she wasn't into some weird stuff though. Like one weekend she wanted to be handcuffed. Yeah. Uh, so I got her done for shoplifting. <laughs> So she used to get really angry with me when it was that time of the month, you know? <laughs> when I asked her to pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> too far. Uh, one of the reasons we broke up is because she said I was too immature. 
I wouldn't have minded, but I was in the middle of watching Scooby-Doo at the time. <laughs> I would still be gathering out with those pesky kids. <laughs> that joke's so fucking cheesy. Um, but no, no, also she, um, she kind of caught me masturbating to images of naked women on the computer. Uh, she was really upset. I didn't understand why. I mean, she's going to take more of an interest in her friends. <laughs> That's how I went down with her. <laughs> but uh, now I'll tell you about my week. I've actually been looking for work. I uh, had to explain to a recent employer the gaps in my CV. Uh, basically, my printer is fucked. <laughs> Also, I watched a porno version of The Sixth Sense. And I knew she was dead the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I've also recently become addicted to taking large amounts of money from the cash machine. Uh, but I've quit. I'm starting to get withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> oh. That's a bit oh. dark, that one. <laughs> I probably have a romantic at heart. Uh, do love people women off their feet <laughs> in my van. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually put an advert in the paper last week saying I was looking for a woman. Uh, age between 25 and 30, uh, blonde hair, a uh, good sense of humour, and escaped from the van sometime last week. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if you love someone, you've got to set them free. <laughs> Give them food. That's <laughs> uh, been tough. I actually, uh, actually caught my female flatmate masturbating. Uh, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't like the porno film. She totally overreacted. <laughs> I nearly fell off my ladder. <laughs> I'm stuck in traffic today. I'm getting rammed up the ass by some lorry driver. <laughs> I don't know how he got into my car. <laughs> uh, my mate's really annoying, he keeps calling me up saying he wants to kill himself. Uh, luckily he hasn't called in a few days. <laughs> uh, cheer myself up, I made myself a nice meal. I actually made it from scratch. Uh, don't tell mother. She loves that cat. <laughs> Thank you, she's loving it. Um, I'm over here actually, I uh, bumped into a person in a wheelchair. Uh, they fell out, it was quite upsetting. And, you know, I thought to myself, I shouldn't treat this person any differently just because they're in a wheelchair. Uh, so I drove off. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I did actually uh, do that joke in front of a wheelchair bound audience. Uh, I'm well, like an old walkout, see? <laughs> That's fucking nice. <laughs> Now, people often ask me where I stand on abortion, uh, mainly in the waiting room. <laughs> Is this going to be an all day thing or uh, time to get a sandwich? <laughs> but no, I am actually, uh, I'm, despite my appearance, I'm actually very good at talking to women. Uh, hello? <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'm not one of those comedians that's going to creep you out or anything. <laughs> At this point, you're probably looking at me thinking, does this guy have a shed that he wanks in? <laughs> yes, I do. It's called my wank shed. I think my mum wants me to take down this sign, though. I'm actually uh, building an extension to the wank shed. Uh, it's called the recovery room. <laughs> I was recently uh, speaking to a builder about the foundations of the wank shed. Uh, loneliness and depression. <laughs> Good, that's a new one. Um, I was thinking about like, the differences between my girlfriend and my wank shed, for example. Uh, I have great respect for my wank shed. <laughs> None of my mates have ever been in my wank shed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through the back door of a wank shed, eh? <laughs> Anal sex joke there, loving it. <laughs> Don't mind when the painters are in my wank shed. <laughs> <laughs> that period joke. Um, <laughs> good, this is fun. Um, my wank shed actually exists. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but uh, no, no, as you, can, as you can tell from my appearance, I am a bit of a lad. Um, I was actually in a strip club last night when the lap dancers are like me so much, let me call her by her proper name. 
Mother! <laughs> uh, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Before I also want to say one thing to you, madame. Uh, if you ever want to make and design your own wang shed, you a saucy little minx. Uh, remember one thing, if you build it, they will come. Happy birthday! <laughs>